Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another food service truck and vlog. Um, as you guys, you may or may not be able to see this. It's dark now. It's about at 6:20 in the morning. Some reason it's still dark. Winter is here, boys and girls. Winter is here. Uh, we've got some snow flying today, and salt trucks have already been out. Snow plow right there coming out. And uh, this is my very, very first time ever driving a semi truck in winter conditions. So I figured I would share the experience with everybody here on YouTube uh, because it's kind of been a little bit sketchy. I was kind of not looking forward to driving that road. This, uh, US, it's like, I think it's a US Highway 34 that goes from Council Bluffs, Iowa to Corning, Iowa. And uh, yeah, I uh, pretty much the whole time I started, I've been just kind of thinking, you know what, that's probably not going to be very fun in the winter. And uh, yeah, there was a few slick spots, a few black ice patches, and uh, it was just a slow and steady, you know, time to uh, you know drive through there. But yeah, this is uh, this is the first snowfall that I've experienced this year, and first one in a semi truck. So I figured, you know what, we're going to record this. And uh, you know, I wanted to record earlier, but I didn't just because of the fact that, uh, you know, it was kind of a little bit sketchy. But I'm going to get out and I'm going to check down here and see if there's anybody down this alleyway. Just because sometimes there is. So I'll be right back. All right, we should be good. Sometimes there's a trash truck that goes down there to pick up the uh, trash bins and stuff. And... Uh, I didn't want to block him or have him block me, so I'm going to make sure. But, yep, it's snowing. It's coming down pretty good, honestly. Um, I, I wasn't expecting this this early on because I was talking to uh, somebody yesterday, and I asked him, like, well, when does winter weather really start up here? And uh, he said it gets, it gets going pretty good around January. So, I don't know. It might start off like this, I guess and uh, just get worse <laughs> but I know that Iowa gets a lot of snow but yeah snow in a semi truck a little bit different than driving a car through it um, but still not really it's not that bad it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas it is it is a winter wonderland up here guys like I I wasn't prepared for this. I mean, I brought some winter clothes because I knew it was going to be cold, but the weather and stuff that I looked at eh, didn't say anything about this. Like, I'm not used to driving in this until, I don't know, January or February back in Missouri. But the, uh, the Farmer's Almanac and everything, I guess, predicted that it was going to snow quite a bit this year. And uh, here it is, November 15th. And uh, it looks like December or January. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this happens. Anybody that's from Iowa, uh, you know, comment down below. Does this happen this early usually? Because, yeah, I gotta remember, I'm kind of in a different, a different world here. Because back home in Springfield, it does not look like this. Yeah. So we're just gonna slow and steady take it, uh, take it to I-80. We're just kind of in. A, it's just this kind of stuff that sticks to the ground and you know it's going to get a little slick because they did plow it looks there is salt on the road but uh yeah, it's going to be a little slick in some areas so i'm not trying to i'm not trying to uh wreck this truck <laughs> i don't want to do that but i've already slid I slid a couple of times just uh you know making some turns you know going from a stop to you know to to move in the truck and of course, I can lock the axles if I need to, you know, in order to get through those turns. But, you know, if you just ease into it, don't let it spin, then, uh, you know, everything's good. Man, it's weird seeing this this early. Like I said, man, I'm not used to seeing this till like January or February. But, I don't know. I made my, uh, I made a delivery in that alleyway. And uh, it wasn't too bad, you know, the, the ramp and everything didn't get too slick. 
Uh, of course, it's just wet. You know, it is below freezing out, but it doesn't really feel that cold. Uh, I guess because the wind isn't really blowing too bad, too badly. But yeah, we're gonna make our way uh, to uh, I-80 here in about I don't know, 30 more minutes, and we'll see how it looks from there. Uh, well, I-80 is a lot more clear than uh, those other roads, so that's no, that's better. Doesn't seem like they've gotten as much snow out here towards uh, you know Des Moines as they did over there in, in the Corning area. It's kind of weird because there was no snow in Council Bluffs and then I move over to Corning, quite a bit of snow, probably a good couple of inches at least, and I uh, come out this way and it's just kind of, you can tell that it kind of fades off a little bit. But I can tell the, uh, the truck is, it's a mess. Like it is so nasty just driving through there because I was behind a salt truck for a while and of course, you know, he was dumping out all the salt. I was getting everywhere. Can barely see out of the back glass. I mean, yeah, it's a little taste of what winter's gonna be. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's not bad as long as you just you're careful and you you think about how you're driving in it. Yeah, I saw a lot of people that were just driving like normal. It's like you know, still going 50 miles per hour in a 45 or 55. You know, in a in a 45, it's like guys, you, it's just you're gonna get in a wreck. You're gonna find a slick spot and you're gonna slide off, and then, you know, that's how that's how people get in the ditch. James is supposed to get a pretty decent amount of snow, to, you know, this evening. I haven't checked the weather yet. Um, I will when I when I stop at my next stop and see if that's still a thing. But yeah, more snow on the way, so we'll see what happens. Okay. It's a little loud out there because uh, they're plowing all the snow off. That's what we got going on. It's my first time delivering in uh, winter weather. And uh, I think my worst, my like, least favorite part of winter weather is uh, having to layer, man. Like having to wear thermal stuff like that because it just makes it hard to breathe, you know? But anyway, yeah, we're over here delivering some products, a 50 case delivery with a narrow drive through and uh, a five refrigerated cases. So that's easy enough. I'll probably do some cuts where I need to do cuts to remove anything that I need to remove. Um, but yeah, we just have our, you know, on these products, I'll have to blur out some things probably to, to uh, make all this work, but it is what it is. Don't spill the tomatoes. Nothing worse than spilling tomatoes. You watch me run this little baby stack down the ramp here. And we've got 21 dry, which means we're gonna have to downstack this entire freaking pallet. But remember, when you downstack pallets, just like segregate separate you know make make your next stops like i've got stop six which i'm on started from that one so this is going to be stop six through eight so i'm going to do eight and then seven and then finish up my six finished up for the day got uh, everything off no returns going back which is always a plus and i'm driving through a residential neighborhood here and uh yeah, there's some pretty nice houses out here, not gonna lie. I wouldn't want such a big house like this and be living right, you know, next to somebody though. It's really kind of the only downfall. Trying to, uh, I was trying to go around some some road construction and uh, I turned down here. It didn't say anything about no trucks, so we should be good and I should be able to make this right hand turn here at the stop sign. The thing about like up here is they actually get snow and not just a bunch of ice because uh, where I'm you know where I'm from down in Springfield we just get a bunch of ice and we don't ever get you know snow like this so it's pretty cool just to uh, to see now I uh, looked at the weather we're still supposed to be getting some snow where I'm staying in Ames tonight so um, we will see how much 
you know, we get her, we'll see if it actually happens, but it's just been gray all day. It's just been 100% winter all day. And uh, just it's just weird, like I said before, weird to see winter time like this in November. But it's normal to everybody else. So we're gonna go find the, uh, the highway and get to our hotel and we will see you all when we get there. Okay, just made it over to the hotel out here in Ames and uh, it doesn't look like they got as much snow as everybody else did, but it looks like as far as the weather app goes, um, let me see, take a look here real quick. It's supposed to be getting some here tonight. Looks like around uh, midnight actually, midnight to 5, 6 a.m. So there's definitely, I, that actually just changed. It was just at four, so they added on to it. Uh, but yeah, definitely more possibility for a little bit more snow accumulation uh, overnight into the morning. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of end the video here. If anything crazy happens tomorrow or in the morning, I'll pick the camera back up and uh, we'll uh, you know, probably make it into either another video. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, first winter driving experience in a semi, you know, it was uh, it wasn't bad. Of course, this is just the beginning. Uh, if you guys are from Iowa or this area up here at all, I've heard some stories. Talked to some other drivers up here. Talked to another uh, food service driver yesterday, and uh, he was telling me a little bit about it. So this is just the beginning. But I thought it'd be a little, you know, cool video to uh, share my first experiences in the snow driving a semi. Uh, too bad I can't show you the truck really, but it is absolutely trashed right now because of all the salt. But you can imagine what it looks like. But anyway, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Once again, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for liking the videos and uh, continuing to follow along with this uh, food service journey. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you are also a new driver out there and are getting ready to experience winter, the best thing I could say after uh, doing it today is uh, just be careful you know don't let anybody push you don't let anybody try to make you go fast you know just go a comfortable speed you know just like just like you're driving your car except just be a little bit more careful because it's uh, you know it's you know that's that's all I could say you know you're, you're driving your truck you're in charge of your CDL you're in charge of your truck uh, you know do what feels right for you so thanks a lot guys we will see you all in the next video be sure you follow the social media down below add me on snapchat t1 trucking and uh, we'll see you in the next one.